Assalamu alaikum sir, I am Dr. Sahar and my today's question is what is NF Papa B and how it produces pro-inflammatory cytokines? Right, so your question has two components. Number one, what is NF Kappa B? Number two, what is the role of NF Kappa B in synthesis of pro-inflammatory cytokines? So let me tackle first, what is NF Kappa B? NF Kappa B is basically a transcriptional factor. Now what is transcriptional factor? Transcriptional factor is basically any protein or set of proteins which bind with the promoter regions of different genes and alter the expression of those genes. Now NF kappa B is basically going to affect many many genes expression, right? It can turn on the genes involved in inflammatory process, genes involved in immune defense mechanisms and genes involved in cell survival. Due to this reason, we call NF kappa B a master transcriptional factor. Again, I will repeat it. What is NF kappa B? NF kappa B is a master transcriptional factor. Why we call it master? Because it acts on many genes. And why we call it transcriptional factor? Because on many genes, it, ex it works on their promoter regions and alters the expression of those genes. Right? And especially the genes which are involved with inflammatory process, genes which are involved in defense mechanisms, genes which are involved in cell survivors. Right? Now, let's go to second part of the question that how NF kappa B produces pro-inflammatory cytokines. Right? If I rephrase this question, that I will say that how NF kappa B produces pro inflammatory cytokines, which include interleukin 1, tumor necros necrosis factor, interleukin 6, and interleukin 8. All of, all of you know that in inflammatory process, interleukin 1, tumor necrosis factor, interleukin 6, and interleukin 8, they're very their production has a very important role. Now, how our cells NF kappa B system is activated. I will not go into detail. I will discuss very briefly in the simplest world. Actually, normally NF kappa B proteins are present in cytosol, even though the name is nuclear factor, but normally it is not kept in nucleus. nucleus. It is normally NF kappa B is kept in cytosol in inactivated form. Mm -hmm. We don't want NF kappa B to overwork. Most of the time NF kappa B is present in off situation or in an inactivated form in the cytoplasm or cytosol of, in, of all cells. Now it is very important question. If a protein like NF kappa B is present in all cells, it must have a very important role and there must be very elaborate pathways for its activation and its functions and their regulation right but in simple word i will say any cell in your body has any kind of stress again i will rephrase any cell in your body has any type of stress nf kappa b system will be activated what what, what do i mean i mean any damage to the cell. The damage may be microbiological damage or mechanical damage or chemical damage or radiation induced damage or any type of damage to the cell, right? When our cells are under stress, they activate their system NF kappa B. Specifically, when we talk about pro-inflammatory cytokines, NF kappa B is specially activated in cells of innate immune system. It can be activated in many cells, but especially in innate immune system. Now, how it is activated? For example, 
if there is infection i'm giving you an example let's suppose there are bacteria attacking a cell now bacterial component will act as stressors right bacterial component might be peptidoglycans as you know peptidoglycans are present in gram positive bacteria in huge amount and in small amount they are present in gram negative bacteria also and as you might know that uh, yes gram negative bacteria have endotoxins which are called lipopolysaccharide so when gram positive or negative bacteria attack tissue or cells peptidoglycans will be there as a danger signal or if there are gram negative bacteria lipo lipopolysaccharides or endotoxins will be there right now these danger signals will produce microbiological stress on the cell cell will sense that stress as we know peptidoglycan can activate toll like receptor type 2 t t l r 2 toll like receptor 2 or endotoxins lipopolysaccharide they can activate toll like receptor type 4 so and so forth right that different kind of stresses on the cell can activate different receptors on the cell membranes or endosomal membranes or or some receptors present within the cytosol these receptors like toll like receptors and there are other receptors they act as danger sensor they sense or they can they act as stress sensor so whenever there is stress to the cell stress sensing receptor system is activated right now TLR2, TLR4, right, they are sens sensing the microbiological stress. But this whole system of stress recognizing receptors are called pattern recognition receptors. So step number one, in activation of NF kappa B, step number one, there is some sort of stress. There is some sort of injury right or there is some sort of stimulation to different kind of receptors right those receptors will give signal they will transduce signal if they are present on the new uh, on the cell membrane they will give signal to the cytoplasm now those signals will activate nf kappa p how those signals will activate nf kappa p Normally, NF kappa B is kept in inhibited form within cytosol. How they are kept inhibited? NF kappa B is basically dimeric protein, P50 and P65. This dimeric protein has is attached to another inhibitor protein. Right? You just imagine that NF kappa B is a banana and it is held by a monkey nf kappa b is banana and monkey is inhibit, inhibiting protein now what happened the signals which are coming from the stress those signals will lead to phosphorylation of monkeys phosphorylation of monkeys what is this phosphorylation of those proteins which inhibit nf kappa b so Number one, stress to the cell. Number two, stress recognizing receptor system activated and signal transduction. Those signals do phosphorylation of what? Monkeys. What are monkeys? Monkeys are holding the NF kappa B. So they are NF kappa B inhibitors. So when NF kappa B inhibitors are phosphorylated, they are destroyed. When they are destroyed, and when monkey is destroyed what will happen banana is released so nf kappa b is set free or we can say now it is no more inhibited and when it is no more inhibited this will shift from the cytosol through the nuclear pores in the nucleus. nucleoplasm right so number one stress to any cell Number two, cells have 
any kind of stress. Number two, cells have stress recognizing receptors. receptors. Number three, stress recognizing receptors like TLR receptors or NLR receptors, they give signals, right? in the cytoplasm which lead to phosphorylation of NF-kappa B inhibitors and NF-kappa B inhibitors are destroyed and once NF-kappa B inhibitors are destroyed NF-kappa B protein is set free to move from cytosol to the nucleus. Yes. Now actually in the nucleus it has a special function. It works as a transcription factor. NF-kappa B act as a transcription factor. What is transcription factor? Transcription factor is actually any protein which bind with the promoter region or special regions of genes and alter the expressions of genes. What is transcriptional factors? Transcriptional factors are special proteins which act as, act as a regulator of promoter regions of the genes and alter the expression of the gene. Now, NF-kappa B binds to many genes. Genes which, which have product related with inflammation, genes which have products related with immune defense mechanism, genes which have products, products mean proteins, which are related with cell survival, right? But in our special question, we were asked that how NF-kappa B produces pro-inflammatory cytokines. So my answer will be once NF-kappa B enters in the nucleus, it will bind with the promoter region of pro-inflammatory cytokines genes. What are the promoter regions? Promoter re regions are special DNA sequences nearby the genes, right, where transcriptional factor can bind and DNA dependent RNA polymerase can bind. These are special regions. You can imagine that promoter regions are some kind of a lock on the gene and transcription factor are key to the gene. And you can imagine NF-kappa B is master key for the genes related with the inflammatory system, immune system, cell survival system. So what is NF-kappa B? It's a master regulator of gene expressions. Which gene expression? Inflammatory genes, genes related with inflammation, sorry, genes related with inflammation, genes related with immune system, genes related with cell survival. Cell survival. So this is a master key. You know, some thief have master key. Your every cell has this master key, right? So, our question was stress. Cell recognizes the stress, phosphorylates the NF kappa B inhibitors in cytosol. NF kappa B inhibitors destroyed. Activated NF kappa B is released and translocates itself to the nucleus. In the nucleus, it binds with certain promoter regions and in our case specific question it will bind with the promoter sequences of gene, genes related with synthesis of interleukin 1, interleukin 6, tumor necrotic factor and interleukin 8. When these promoter boxes are activated by NF-kappa B then what happens? that DNA dependent RNA polymerase start working. They will depend on DNA and polymerize an RNA. So messenger RNA will be produced in the cell which will be eventually translated by the ribosomes into interleukin 1, tumor necrotic factor, interleukin 6, interleukin 8 and cell will be releasing these products. And remember interleukin 1, tumor necrotic factor, interleukin 6, these can act as uh, an interleukin 8, all of them are pro-inflammatory cytokines. Here, a very important point, not only these 
pro inflammatory cytokines work on endothelial cells or white blood cells but they also work on the cell which is producing these cytokines so if cell is producing these pro inflammatory cytokines some of these pro inflammatory cytokines will auto react with the cell autocrine pathway and further amplify the release synthesis and release of pro inflammatory Cytokine. cytokines Cytokine. right so this is the fundamental role of nf kappa b in production of pro inflammatory cytokines again and again i'm saying pro inflammatory cytokines it means there must be some anti inflammatory cytokines also yes there are some anti inflammatory cytokines but nf kappa b present discussion we are saying it is it enhances the synthesis of interleukin 1 tumor necrotic factor necrosis. interleukin 6 and interleukin 8 right which is chemokine also interleukin 8 but here our this discussion finishes but we just put a question that are there any are there any anti inflammatory cytokines also yes there are interleukin 4 is anti inflammatory cytokine interleukin 10 is anti inflammatory cytokines interleukin 13 is anti inflammatory cytokines right so if someone asked you just name three anti inflammatory cytokines you will say interleukin 4 interleukin 10 interleukin 13 right but pro inflammatory cytokines there are many but you should know minimum interleukin 1 tumor necrotic factor interleukin 6 and interleukin 8 right and yes you have a question what are the diseases in which chronic dysregulation of nf kappa b might have a role wow this this lecture was supposed to be as brief as possible but uh, mr david came with with a question he says that uh, if there is chronic dysfunction of or dysregulation of nf kappa b what will happen because i think this question came to his mind that because i mentioned that most of the time when cells are not stressed nf kappa b is kept in inhibited form in the cytosol but if there is some dis chronic dysregulation of nf kappa b right it means then pro inflammatory cytokines will be chronically produced in pathological concentrations right and actually there are some diseases very well known diseases in which now we are speculating that chronic dysregulation of nf kappa b is playing a pathogenic role for example rheumatoid arthritis right inflammatory bowel disease even some cancers and even in atherosclerosis now we believe even in atherosclerosis there is chronic over expression of slight over expression of nf kappa b and patients with these conditions right rheumatoid arthritis inflammatory bowel disease cancer some cancers and atherosclerosis in their blood pro inflammatory cytokines are present chronically in slightly higher concentrations and they, they are playing role in their pathogenesis and of course there are many drugs we will discuss some other time that how the different drugs act on nf kappa b and its pathway to reduce the inflammation right sure. thank you very much see you later bye